everyone, this is Shaylin with the Chocolate Chip and I am here today to teach you how to make the mini ice cream cakes. Uh, so this class is not going to be a very long class, I promise, but everything you learn tonight will be so fun and super cute. Okay, so for this class you will need your mini cake mold and we're going to use this mousse mold that I got from Lavender's Bake Shop and I will post the link in the class at the end. And this is actually a six cavity mold, but I did cut off the end of it to make it easier to work with. Um, once you use this, you'll see that it's really flimsy and it's easier to cut it into sections and do two at a time. Or, you know, you can still do all six, but place it in a freezer or fridge two at a time like this, okay? So this mold is the first thing you need the second thing you will need is this mold that I'm using tonight. And this is actually a, I consider this a chocolate mold or an isomalt mold. Fundant really did not work too well in this when I did try it. I got this one from Amazon and I will post the link in the class as well. And for this one, I got this result from this one here. And the swirly one was this look. Okay, so you know when you do the ice cream look everyone's doing it now you want to try to find something different this gave me what i was looking for when i was trying to find the different types of ice creams now the next mold that you're going to need i got it from lavender bake shop as well and that was this mold and it creates this look here okay so with this i wanted my chocolate my little mini cakes to actually stand up on top my little pieces to stand on top of my mini cakes so i didn't want to use fondant because fondant was going to take forever and i needed my base to be really straight so i decided to use this mold because i knew chocolate would fit perfectly inside of this and it will also give me the end result that i was trying to do okay so this mold was the second mold that i used or my third mold and then you also need your ice cream waffle impression mat and I got this from lavender bake shop as well and I think this mat was eight dollars I'm not sure but you I will post the link at the end of the class as well okay so those were the three modes actually four modes that I got from lavender bake shop all four of these now the next thing that I actually um, used to create my little mini ice cream sandwiches were these cute little cutters they came in a set from hobby lobby you can also find them at michael's they are called clay cutters and i use them all the time in my classes because they work great with fondant and these had the really cute wavy ends to them they have a smooth end a smooth end and a wavy end smooth here and a wavy end as well um, that gives me that look that I'm looking for or I'm trying to achieve whenever I'm making my little mini ice cream sandwiches. The next thing that you're going to need after this is some brown fondant or tan, depending on if you're looking for, um, you want the dark chocolate look for the waffle cone or ice cream sandwiches or if you want the tan one. You're also going to need cake or whatever you're going to fill your cavity with. I'm going to do cake, but... You can definitely use Oreos, uh, Rice Krispie Treats, anything that you want to use to fill your cavity. And when I say cavity, I mean your little hole for your cakes, okay? Okay, so the very first thing, and this is going to be a, a sequence of steps, okay? So I'm going to show you how to complete the actual cake part. And while that's in the freezer freezing, I'm going to show you how to make the little mini ice cream sandwiches, right? And then once, you know, since I already have one of the little mini cakes ready, I'm just going to show you how to actually put it all together and to complete the look. So the first thing we're going to do is take our cavity, make sure it's nice and clean and everything. There's no debris in it because this is going to actually be the outside once you pop it out. If there's anything in the inside, it's definitely going to show on the outside of your mini cake. And you're going to have to just start all the way over. So since we're using cake, 
I am going to first fill my cavity or my hole or whatever you want to call it with chocolate and I'm just gonna put a little bit to cover the bottom first because I want a nice thick layer so my cake does not poke through and then I'm just gonna take my spatula move it around in there and paint the sides okay so just in any other cake class or cake pop class or anything that I teach and I do teach several so if you need bunt cake classes or any kind of classes I do have um, many classes that you can purchase from me that are ready to watch now and they are from scratch so you'll get you know step-by-step -step details and recipes as well um, in my cake pop classes I teach it two ways you can either take your cake and mix it with a little bit of frosting like one tablespoon and mesh it together with your hands and then once this dries because we would stick this in the freezer for about five minutes you would take that mixture and you will place it in a hole and then cover it with chocolate I'm not going to do that because I prefer to actually enjoy cake inside of my uh, my mini cakes because I do a lot of mini cakes I have maybe four mini cake classes different ways to teach you how to do these and they're always so cute once you do them once you see them on the table it's just mind-blowing and beautiful um, I'm going to actually use cake slices in mine so at this point I would just stick this in the freezer for about five minutes and let it dry and you're not filling this all the way up just a little bit to cover the sides and you can actually move the chocolate rotate it all the way around and use a spatula to help you cover the sides because you don't want your cake to poke through and you see how I'm just rotating that so that um, everything is covered inside okay tap it out place it in the freezer five minutes okay so after five minutes we're gonna take it out and then I'm just gonna take some cake I'm using store-bought cake tonight for class purposes but I will go you know I will um, give you a link I don't mind um, sharing a link with y'all for like one of my recipes that I use in one of my free classes um, it's a really great recipe and I think y'all enjoy it and you can just take that recipe It's for the basic vanilla um, cake and you can just add different things to it and make it your own so I will um, share a link with you all for that class as well uh, for those who would like to try um, that just inbox me and I can send you the link okay so I'm just going to take a slice of um, this is just regular Walmart cake I'm just gonna take it and I'm just gonna take a cookie cutter and just poke a hole or you can just break it up and place it inside but I'm just gonna poke a hole in this and remember this is supposed to be dry like pretending that we put it in the freezer for about five minutes and then I'm just gonna put this inside and that will be completely dry so the chocolate won't move or anything I'm gonna put that inside and then I'm going to take some frosting or buttercream whatever you want to call it and I'm just gonna put a little bit right here in the middle and then I'm just gonna put like another little slice of cake in there and then we're gonna cover it with chocolate just putting a little bit in there because I love cake but I like it more when it has like a, just a little bit of frosting inside okay and if you would like to get another one of my um, my cake classes for the mini cakes just let me know um i have a rose gold one that's really nice for the fall and it also has um i think it is a snickerdoodle pound cake recipe in it as well and i think it also has like a mini sprinkle class in there and i just teach you how to achieve the rose gold color um also with your chocolate okay so i'm just going to Take another slice get another um cake and i don't throw away my uh, my pieces that's left over um i normally make um cake pops or something with it like the round little cake pops we have so many <laughs> look i'm just trying to clean this mess i have cake going over here and we have crumbs and stuff okay so 
I'm going to take my next piece and I did the same thing and I'm just going to stick it right there inside and I'm just going to mesh it down some, okay? So that it fits the, the whole part of my cake, the inside. Okay, so now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my, because we brushed the sides, it's going to be okay. Everything is meshed together. The sides are covered. The cake is not going to poke through. So I'm just going to take some more chocolate and I'm going to cover this, the bottom part of my cake, and we're going to tap it out so that it goes around the whole part of the cake that you put inside. Okay. And tap it and tap it until it goes all the way around. Okay. And then if you feel like, I feel like there's like a little space there. So I'm just going to take my knife and I'm just going to help my chocolate go under that little lip right there. And brush it back right there. Alright. So now I'm going to tap this again to make it nice and smooth. And then I will stick this in the freezer for about 15 minutes. It does take about 15 minutes because it's a lot. It needs to, um, to definitely freeze up and get hard. But once you cut the cake, it won't be that hard because it's a very thin layer of chocolate at the top and then your cake and then frosting and then more cake. So when you cut it open, it's not like a huge thick layer of chocolate. Now that our mini cakes are in the freezer and setting, we are going to go ahead and move to the second part. Now this part is the decorations for the top of our mini cakes. This is definitely something you want to do the day before, but you don't really have to. It's, it's up to you. I like to prep sometimes a little bit ahead of time to make sure that I'm not wasting too much time trying to assemble everything. I'm going to show you how to make our cute little ice cream sandwiches for the top of our cakes. We have this style and then we have this style right here. Aren't they so adorable and they're like real little miniature ice cream cakes. Okay, so I'm going to set that off to the side and I'm going to demonstrate that. If you're going to do prep work for this, um, you can definitely cut out your little squares and your little flower pieces ahead of time. and It'll probably take you all of 10 minutes to cut out each one of these. Let me show you how we did it. You're going to grab your fondant, brown fondant. If you want to do tan fondant, you can take your brown, mix it with a little bit of white, and then just knead it together until you get the color that you want. I'm going to take my brown. I'm going to... Go ahead and smooth it out some. Remember, don't do it too flat because we're going to put that um, this embrosure mat on top and we're going to have to roll it out some more. So you don't want it too flat because um, it would be difficult to work with and also be too thin and can easily snap. Okay, I did about two rolls back and forth. I'm gonna take that nice clean design on top. And the reason why I lifted it is sometimes when you roll it out, you might press it too far down on the mat and when you cut it, it might be difficult to pick up. So I went ahead and lifted it so that it will release easier. So, I, like I said before, I got these cute little cutters from Hobby Lobby. They came in a set. And I will share um, that information with you exactly where I got this. The name of it, I'm sorry. Um, I have the flower one and I have my square one, square one as well. Okay, so let's start with the flower one. And this is what the flower one looks like. Okay. I'm just going to punch out about two, just the top and the bottom. And you can get, looking at this, I can get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces out of this one piece of fondant. But I'm only going to punch out two just to show you. There's one, and it might lift up, and that's okay. You'll just take it, press it down gently with your fingers, 
You don't want to press it down too hard because it will mess up the design. And this is what we have right here. Isn't it so pretty? And it's so adorable. Like little Play-Doh ice cream cakes. But this is, you know, fondant, of course. And then same thing with this one. It's just inside. And you're just going to push it out. Like that. And so while I still have my fun in here, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make the square ones the same way. Not too hard. It'll lift up. You just push it out like that. There's a little ice cream sandwich. And then do it once more for the bottom piece. And just punch it up with your hands. And just let it lay it down. This does not have talos or anything in it, so it is really flexible for you to be able to move it however you like. Okay, so now for the filling of our ice cream, I'm just going to take some fondant, roll it out, knead it. We're going to do a, um, I just grabbed some random fondant, but we're going to do like a peach filling for these. And I have some pink one, I mean some pink fondant over here as well. So I got peach right here and we're just kneading this. You can um, buy fondant from us, Candy Kaleidoscope, or you can use Wilton is at Walmart as well. Well, we're not at Walmart, but Wilson is at Walmart. And then Satin Ice is at Hobby Lobby. I really don't care for the Satin Ice fondant. It's a little bit too soft and it takes forever to um, dry and sometimes it looks ashy but uh, Wilson is all um, is definitely a great brand that you can just go out and get but we also make funding if you would like to order funding just let me know and we can get you squared away so just like we rolled out the chocolate we're going to roll out our the chocolate fondant we're going to roll out the peach colored fondant and these, I'm going to leave them a little bit thick because about this thickness, because this is the filling for the ice cream. You don't want your ice cream sandwich to be too um, skinny. And I'm looking at it and I'm thinking I'm going to go on this end right here because it's a little bit thicker. We're going to take that same square cutter and that same flour cutter whenever you cut these to make the filling. Okay, so I just punched a hole. And I'm just going to, with my finger, just punch it out. And look how cute it is with the little flower wavy edges. So now what you want to do is we're going to just take our first piece, the square, and I'm just going to dab a little water on one side. Um, I don't use chocolate on these little ice cream sandwiches because water will stick. These are sugar. Fondant's made with sugar. You know, it has a sugar ingredient in it. Sometimes marshmallows depend on the brand. So all you have to do is add a little water to it to make everything stick. And I also found out making these that if I put chocolate here, like a layer of chocolate, you can actually see that chocolate in between the layers. And you don't want that. You want it to be as nice and clean as possible. So I put a little water there and I'm just going to line this up the same way. Like a little blanket on top. Okay. Do the same thing to that top piece. And this, we have our little ice cream sandwich. Look at that. Cute little ice cream sandwich, right? So that's the little square one. This is the one I made ahead of time. And the thickness is completely up to you. Now let's do the little flower one. And I'm gonna use some a little piece of pink fondant for this one. And when you get done with your fondant, all you wanna do is just roll it up, stick it back inside of a Ziploc bag or some saran wrap. You don't wanna put it in the fridge. I'm just keep it in a nice cool place. And that way you can use it next time. As long as there's no debris or glitter or any kind of dirt mixed in with your um, fondant, you can definitely reuse it. Okay, so I'm just kneading the pink. This is our pink. 
Finding, I just stole a little piece from some that I had prepared ahead of time. And I'm just gonna roll this out. And I'm, I'm actually gonna double it back like that because I want this to be a little bit thicker. No one likes a little skimpy ice cream sandwich, right? We want that inside ice cream scoop to be nice and fat. So I'm gonna take this same cutter and I'm just going to cut it in the center. I'm gonna lift this up and then I'm gonna push it out. Okay, so, oh, this one might be too thick, but that's fine. I'm sure y'all understood what I was trying to tell you, but this one is pretty thick. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, so we're going to take the same layer for our first cut, and I'm going to add a little water on the side. And we're making these as our um, cakes are setting in the freezer. I'm going to take this, and you want to... Line up each of the little humps or end pieces to make sure that it looks like an actual ice cream cake. And I did go overboard with the um, filling for the ice cream cake, but it's fondant. You can just take it, re, you know, before you put the water on it. If you're not happy with the size of it, just re-ball it up, roll it out, and recut it. It's not a big deal, but, you know, it's not, the, you know, the end of the world. So I'm just going to finish this one and... We're just gonna keep moving. Okay. That's a tall ice cream sandwich. Yeah, it's really tall. But it's okay. See that? The thickness you really want to go for though is a little less, but this is fine. You can actually see the colors and the layers. It's really cute. Okay, like I said, you might want to do these ahead of time so that they can dry and everything is, um, you know, ready. That way you can just put your cakes down, grab them, assemble them the way you want, and just keep moving. You don't want to be punching it out as you go. But if you have to, that's fine as well. These are super easy. Okay, so I explained to you about the different modes at the beginning of the class, and I just went ahead and filled a few of them so that you can actually see how the pieces look once you put the chocolate in them. So for our cupcake, um, this mold I told you was for chocolate, ice the mold or fondant. We wanted to use the chocolate so that, you know, the piece would be stiff and we don't have to wait for it to get dry or hard or anything. And another thing too is I really wanted everything on the cake to just be yummy and edible for the kids. Kids really don't care for fondant. So, you know, this was the only, the ice cream cakes were the only parts that I made um, fondant. The rest of it is 100% chocolate besides the cake. And, you know, I wanted the kids to just have fun while they were eating this. Just pick it apart and just, you know, be able to bite into it. So, this is the cupcake for the fondant piece. Well, it's not a cup. It looks like a cupcake, but it's actually an ice cream cone. It can pass for either or. It really doesn't matter. So, this was the fondant piece or chocolate piece, whichever one you prefer. Okay, and then this one here, the three ice creams. Remember I said this would go better with chocolate instead of fondant. This piece gave me this look here. And I'm going to put some of our edible glitter on it here in a moment. And then this piece gave me this. Push it out. Turn it, flip it over and push it out with your thumb. Gave me, isn't it so adorable? I love this one so much. And all you do to get the three different colors is just put the chocolate in each layer, let it dry, and then put that white chocolate on top, and then cover the rest with the tan. So, that's what I did. Okay, and then like for the clay um, mold, remember I got this one from Hobby Lobby as well, is this size popsicles, and this is how they look. They come out. These will go great on those cakes as well. And then we have a green. And I'm not using these. I'm just showing you how they look and giving you options. Something you can just go out to the store and grab and not have to worry about your order coming in from wherever you order from. Even Amazon Prime doesn't take two days. Sometimes they take a little bit longer. So if you're in a pinch, you definitely can get this Popsicle one at Hobby Lobby and it will work just fine. 
Okay, so now that we completed all of our chocolate pieces, you just look down and decide if there's anything extra you want to do, like glitterize something. Meaning, do you want to put um, shimmer or glitter on something? Or if you want to touch up something with highlighter dust, just whatever. You just look down, look at your pieces, and then go ahead and start thinking about how you're going to assemble your cakes. And for just to give it an added effect, I'm going to add some of our um, green edible glitter to the top of this ice cream cone. Okay, I had to find it. Okay, so this is our green edible glitter. It's FDA approved and certified FDA approved. There's a difference. And kosher and vegan. And it's so beautiful and shimmery. And I love it because it has like an icy look to it. And this is our neon green. And I'm just going to take it. It's so cool how these are basically the same colors gonna take this and I'm just gonna shake it on the top to give me a little added um, difference in color and everything and then I'm just gonna shake it off or you can get a brush just brush off the extra to clean it up a little bit and look how pretty that is and how shimmery that is totally different this was the before how it would look if it was flat and then that's the shimmery Okay, and then I will just take my little extra and put it back into my container as long as there's no fondant or debris or anything in here. Um, it's okay to do that. Okay. So, and you can do that with any, if you have an edible glitter, you can definitely do that piece with any other other glitter that you want to use but we have 12 beautiful colors that you can get on our Etsy store starting on Monday okay so let's pretend fast forward 15 minutes has gone by and now our cake is complete and we're ready to put the pieces together so I'm going to take my cake and I actually have another one ready here a little yellow one so I might decorate them both but I want to show you how to take this piece out of the mold you're gonna take this and grab it by both sides you're gonna push it up from the bottom with your fingers and you're gonna just press it through and it should release just like that okay so I have this yellow one here and I have this purple one I'm just gonna grab one well actually since the ice cream the big piece is yellow I'm going to use my purple now in this instance um we're going to just be gluing everything down okay we're just going to be gluing everything down with chocolate at this point okay so i am going to take this piece my cute little ice cream piece and you're just going to basically center it where you want it to be and the good thing about it is you don't have to glue everything down until the end so if you put something somewhere placement this is what I call placement like I might put my ice cream sandwich just put one ice cream sandwich here towards the front and I might put my little ice cream cone in the back and then I might do the little sandwich off to the side it's completely up to you you can even not use the cone just put the ice cream sandwich there Put another one off centered and all of this will stick once you put the chocolate on there and then maybe if you wanted a different look you can just throw ice cream in the front or something it's it's completely up to you however you want to do it like i said these are so fun and you can make each one of them different but i'm going to put my ice cream towards the back so it's flat you see how it just sits there once you put that thin layer of chocolate and another rule of thumb is whatever um color your mini cakes is you want to remelt that same color chocolate to use as glue because there's a um a little line underneath the ice cream cone and it's from the purple chocolate of course i could have been a little neater 
but I just put it on there and but if it would have been like white chocolate it would be more noticeable this isn't really noticeable and plus the ice cream cakes are gonna go in the front so I'm just gonna turn this around so I can see it want to look at where I'm gonna place my ice cream sandwich that we just made so I'm gonna take it and I'm going to put it off to the side well, just dab a little chocolate on the bottom. I'm gonna stick it off to the side like this, right there. So it's kind of hanging off the side, like it's about to slide off. But it's not going to because the chocolate is holding it in place. And now we're gonna take our cute little cone here that I used the edible glitter on, and I am going to lay her across the front. And I'm going to put glue on. Not glue. When I say glue, I mean chocolate, y'all. Chocolate is my edible glue. I know they sell edible glue, but chocolate is amazing. It dries so fast. And, like, you only have to hold it down for a few seconds and you're good. So, in my mind, I count to, like, ten. You know, one, two, three, four, six, seven, nine, ten. And just like that, we are done. I do have one little, let me wipe that from a chocolate okay and so the end result can be something like this like I said it's up to you if you do this and you're not happy with it you can definitely um, take the pieces off recover them with chocolate and then just place it how you want to place it but I love this this is so pretty and this is going to be such a showstopper when you put it on your tree tables everybody's going to gather around and be like oh my god what is that and you're going to be like, oh, those, those are just mini cakes. Those are just mini cakes. You can order if you like. That's how it's going to go. And then you're be like, oh, my God, how much are they? And you're going to be, let me think. <laughs> let me think because I haven't made the, this set yet for someone. But my mini cakes are normally 12 for 55 They start off 12 for 55 depending on the price. These, because, you know, it's a whole mini cake. It has actual cake in it and then you're making the ice cream sandwiches and everything so it's a lot of steps I would definitely charge 10 or 12 dollars a piece for these mini cakes the kids can each get their own it would just be so adorable just imagine the walking in to a party the table settings each little kid had their own little cake in front of them if you don't want to serve a big cake or whatnot these will be so perfect for that kind of situation okay so that completes our class for our mini cakes. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you try it out. And if you have any questions or if you need a little help, just inbox me and I'll be more than happy to help. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you soon.